how do the hands move around the clock face at the right speed? Well, the answer is here, inside this little box. It's called the mechanism. But to find out how the mechanism works, I think we need to take a closer look. All clocks need power to work. Most clocks are powered by batteries. The battery sends a small electric current through a circuit board. The circuit board makes a tiny crystal called a quartz vibrate. A microchip, which is like a tiny computer, counts the vibrations and turns them into electric pulses of exactly one pulse every second. The pulse then powers a tiny motor, which makes wheels called gears turn around and around. There is one gear for the seconds hand, a gear for the minute hand, and a gear for the hour hand. The gears are attached to a shaft that goes through the middle of the clock face and spins the hands around the clock at exactly the right speed, so we can look at the hands and see what time it is. Now, shall we have a look inside the mechanism of a real clock? Wow. The parts inside this mechanism are really, really small. I've got my special camera with me, so we can take a closer look. The lens on my special camera works like a magnifying glass, so you can see the tiny parts inside. The microchip is this part here, and then the motor is this bit, the part with a copper wire wrapped around it, and it's the motor that makes the gears go round. Can you see? The gears, they have little grooves around the edge. Well, those grooves are called teeth, and those teeth lock together like this, so that when one gear goes round, the other one will turn at the same time. And there is a gear for each of the hands. One, two, three. Now we know how it works, let's go and see a mechanism being fitted to a face to make a finished clock. And there we have it, a lovely blue clock. Let's put a battery inside it and see what happens. Wow, it's working. You can see the second hand moving around. Tick, tock, tick. So now we can tell what time it is. <laughs>